feeling about tonight's game? You know, Evan, with a big-time sports broadcast, you can't go wrong. Unless the refs make the wrong calls, and you know about making the call, right? Right. Anyone who's in the market to buy or sell a home can make the call to Mac and True Realty. And our team works hard to make it easy and rewarding. Dad, don't forget the mobile app. The mobile app? You're right, Evan. When you download the McIntyre Fully mobile app, you can search for homes, contact agents, browse photos, and get current information on properties. And McIntyreFrealty.net is another great place to start. You're right, Evan. Uh-oh, Dad. Looks like we're out of time. We better throw the broadcast to the Big Time Sports Group. On behalf of the entire McIntyre Realty team, Evan and I would like to welcome you to tonight's Big Time Sports High School broadcast. And now, here's your Big Time Sports broadcast crew. Welcome to Tournament Basketball Action on Big Time Sports. It's the Back and Turf Realty pregame show. And tonight we are at New Philadelphia High School for a boys sectional final. We have the Central Catholic Saints at 20 and 3 on the year. They're the number two seed in this tournament, taking on the 8 and 14 River Pilots. Now, Bruce Winter, the River Pilots, just the ninth seed in this tournament. 8 and 14 doesn't look that good on paper, but They've played a pretty tough schedule and played a lot of people close. Yeah, down in the OVAC, you know, there's a lot of crossover games. They played mostly a D3 schedule, you know. Uh, ten of their losses out of the 14 have come by five points or less. They're a very young team, a freshman and sophomore starting at guards, and, and actually their record may be a little deceiving. Central Catholic Saints, on the other hand, a very athletic team, a senior-dominated team, a team that won a sectional tournament a year ago. Yeah, Mitch Heron comes in as the Eastern District Player of the Year. Like you said, a senior-laden team. Five or six out of the top seven are all seniors, so this is their year, you would think. All right, it's Central Catholic against River. We'll talk to the Saints head coach, Tyrone Miller, right after this on Big Time Sports. When buying or selling a home, the first thing is to make the call. Our marketing plan speaks for itself. We get results with over 700 sales last year. So, Molly and Colton, have you made a decision yet? Yes, we have. I don't know, Molly. That's a lot of money. It's the one I want. Buying a home Sign is one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make. We take that seriously. One of every four homes sold is listed by McInturf Realty. Make the call to McInturf Realty, the sign that sells. Hello, this is Tom O'Donnell from Park Village Healthcare. Over the past several years, we've become a trusted provider of rehabilitation services following surgery or a brief hospital stay. Jane Snader, our Director of Rehabilitation and Therapy Services, has been working in this area since 1984 and has brought her knowledge and experience exclusively to Park Village. Jane leads our physical, occupational, and speech therapy teams that are respected for promoting evidence-based rehabilitation and therapy programs. These programs emphasize maximizing a resident's potential and promotes a timely and safe return home. If you are looking for short-term rehabilitation, please visit us. Tour our rehabilitation wing dedicated to providing our clients quiet, private accommodations. Meet Jane Snader and explore a rehabilitation experience that will get you back on your feet again. Park Village, where local therapists are building local relationships. We're located at 1525 Crater Avenue in Dover. At Rent to Own, you'll find nice people helping you rent to own furniture, rent to own appliances, rent to own electronics, and rent to own computers. We've got nice stuff that nice people like you need. Check out our great rental prices. You'll never own any cheaper. And be sure to look for our monthly specials on needed items for your home. We have great deals on our huge selection of products. At Rent to Own, we'll help you make your next purchase a whole lot easier. Stop in today. Give your home a fresh new look with Canton Aluminum. Whether it's sunrooms, windows, siding, or doors, the experts at Canton Aluminum have the home improvement solution to meet your needs. Serving Northeast Ohio for over 60 years, Canton Aluminum takes pride in delivering excellent customer service. For a free estimate, call Canton Aluminum today at 330-456-0021 or visit our website at cantonaluminum.com. 
Welcome back to Tournament Basketball on Big Time Sports. I'm Matt Ritzert with Tyrone Miller, head coach of the Central Catholic Saints. And coach took care of business in game number one to move on, and really that's the name of the game right now. Yeah, you know, we're just hoping to survive in advance right now, 32 minutes at a time. That was part of the message to my guys tonight, you know, that it's all we're guaranteed is 32 minutes. And, you know, we talked about not having to make extraordinary plays, but just making the simple plays extraordinarily well. Um, and that's what it's about come tournament time. It's making sure you're doing the little things every single night. Earn yourself another night to play. You take on the River Pilots tonight, a team not very close, kind of hard to figure out. Or is it hard to figure out and to gauge what you've got your hands on right now? Well, I think we do a, a really good job of getting out and seeing teams and, and, and scouting them. We've seen them plenty of times, um, enough times to know what they're going to do and uh, what to expect from them. So um, if, if we don't do our job tonight. It's our fault, nobody else's. What kind of concerns do they bring to the table? They've got, they've got really good guard play. You know, they've got a freshman averaging over 20 a game, and, and he's going to put the ball up. And the concern is a bunch of them start to go in, and, and he turns a 20 point night into a 30 or 40 point night because he's got the potential to do that. And they have other good pieces that, that can play, and they play really hard. They're really well coached. We know they're going to throw some different things at us defensively. So, um, well, I, I think we're prepared. We've had a week to get ready to go. Our guys are ready to play. You know, you talk about them throwing some different things at you defensively, but you got a senior team, and that's where that senior leadership can really be a big advantage to recognize that kind of thing. Yeah, we've got guys who have played for a long time and guys who are really smart kids and smart basketball players. They tend to figure things out pretty quickly, um, and they make our coaching staff look pretty good when they do that. All right, wish you good luck. Thank you. Tyrone Miller, head coach of the Saints, to the opening tip-off coming up next on Big Time Sports. Omni Orthopedics is proud to announce their award-winning team now includes 16 of the very best doctors in their field. Since 1996, Omni Orthopedics has helped patients in Stark and Tuscarawas counties with issues involving the foot and ankle, hand and upper extremity, joint, neck, spine, trauma, and sports medicine with the finest physicians, staff, and medical equipment available. To learn more about Omni Orthopedics world-class care, medical complex, or for contact information, visit online at omniortho.com. Toyota has the deals, and Ferris can help you get there. Hi, this is Pat Ferris from the all-new Ferris Toyota. Right now, you can drive towards spring in your choice of a new Toyota Camry, RAV4, or Prius for just $249 a month, and that includes two years of free maintenance. All of these great vehicles for just $249 a month and no maintenance costs. Bring us your trade and choose a new Camry, RAV4, or Prius for just $249 a month at the all-new Ferris Toyota on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. We're called Weaver's Fine Furniture for a reason. From our handcrafted solid wood furniture to our American-made upholstered furniture, you'll see heirloom quality. Make your house a home with bedroom suites, kitchen furniture. Visit us in Sugar Creek at 7011 Old State Route 39. For directions, current specials, and more, you can find Weaver's online at weaverfurniturestore.com. Make your house a home with Weaver's Fine Furniture. Hello sports fans, Mellow Tones here for my good friends from Wallhouse Coffee. I kick it in gear every morning with fresh roasted coffee beans from Wallhouse Coffee. Can't you just smell the aroma of Wallhouse Coffee in your kitchen? Don't be shy, why not give Wallhouse a try? Wallhouse Coffee on the Dover Road in Sugar Creek. Big time coffee for big time coffee drinkers. Get a smooth ride with tires from Clum Tire Service Company on South Broadway in New Philadelphia. Visit the friendly folks at Clum Tire and they'll set you up with a set of quality tires at a price you can afford. With their years of experience, Clum will make sure your car has quality tires that fit your car or truck. Make sure your car is safe on the road with Clum Tire, 1075 South Broadway in New Philadelphia. Once again, on the McIntyre Realty pregame show, now with the head coach of the River Pilots, Mark Romick. And Mark, it's been kind of a crazy week with the snow, off school, missing practice. How in the world do you deal with something like that? Yeah, well, kids are resilient at their age. Uh, you know, you, you get in and out. And, uh, we have, we weren't able to go yesterday practice or anything, but you know, we got three good days in before that. So you know, hopefully, we're ready to go tonight. 
How much were you able to figure out about Central Catholic, scout them, and figure out what they like to do? Yeah, we'd seen Central Catholic, Gary. They have a really nice ball team. Uh, they're senior dominant. Uh, you know, anytime this this time of the year when you're playing a lot of seniors, you know, they know what's at stake, you know, at the end of the year and everything. They see the light at the end of the tunnel, so it, they dig down a little bit harder. It, it, it's going to be a tall task tonight. What is it about the River Pilots that you like about your team most of all? Well, our kids are pretty resilient. Again, they, uh, you know, they don't really play to the scoreboard. Uh, we play the same from the beginning game to the end of the game. Uh, it, they, they get down and dig. They play pretty hard. Wish you good luck. Thank you very much. We'll be back with the opening tip-off right after this on Big Time Sports. Senior year is full of big decisions, a career path, a college, but it starts with fantastic senior pictures to celebrate accomplishments and showcase your personality. New Philadelphia senior Charles Murray chose Mitchell Studio to tell his story. Charles wanted portraits to showcase his many interests, from sports to music. I had a few of just casual clothes, and then I had a bunch of jerseys behind me. I had my saxophone. They let me bring whatever I wanted. We took a few in the studio, and then we went to the baseball field, a soccer field, and got those pictures taken. Charles said Mitchell studio photographer Terry Barnhill made the shoot fun and offered insight while allowing Charles to be creative as well. He actually thought of a lot of new ideas or new poses, but he also let me pick my own and what I wanted to. It was easy. I like to joke around and have fun with you when you're taking your pictures. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. For more than 30 years, Terry Barnhill has helped local seniors shine with images that will stand the test of time. Call Mitchell Studio today to schedule your senior session. Mitchell Studio, where photography is still an art. Since 1971, Chibos has been serving homemade pasta, soups, and rolls to people from all over the area. Chibos is located in Waynesburg in the former Mohawk Movie Theater. The recipes are the same today, and the cooks still come in at 6 a.m. to roll out the dough. Recently, Chibos has added a selection of some of your favorite Italian wines to complement your dinner. We thrive on quality food, quality service at a reasonable price. Chibos is open Thursday through Sunday for lunch and dinner. What is peace of mind? Financial freedom. For most folks, financial freedom is built step by step over time. We help you build it with our savings and investment accounts like CDs, money market, and IRAs where you can sock away some money and earn interest on it too. Financial freedom is peace of mind. Let's build it together. Substantial penalties apply for early withdrawals on CDs. First National Bank of Denison, member FDIC. It's all about you. Trust is hard. Roll the film, let's see why. I got approved. It was a great deal for the car. I came to JD Bar Rider. The same day I left with the car. I was approved, and I've been happy ever since. JD Bar Rider is a great place to go. Whether your credit's good, bad, they'll work with anybody. I got the green light. You could get the green light at gojdb.com. JD Bar Rider. It's the way to go, go. Welcome back to Tournament Basketball Action on Big Time Sports. New Philadelphia High School is the site, the game, the Central Catholic Saints against the River Pilots. Central Catholic rolling into this game with 20 victories to their credit. They're 20 and 3 on the year, while the River Pilots are 8 and 14 on the campaign. And right now, we're going to take a look at our Park Village Healthcare Center keys to the ball game. And here is Bruce Witter. Yeah, TCC, they can't let this, uh, you know, River Pilot record deceive them, even though they come in at 8-14. Eight eight they played a number of D3 schools down in, along the river there in the OVAC. So forget the records, it's tournament time. River, on the other hand, young ball team, Matt. They're going to have to handle the pressure that uh, Central's going to put on them, and they got to stay close to have a chance at the end. TCC, on the other hand, needs to come out, fast start, 
put the pedal to the metal, and don't take any prisoners tonight. All right, those are your keys to the ball game, brought to you by the Park Village Health Care Center. We turn our attention now to the starting lineups. First, for the visiting River Pilots, it is Lucas Isley, an outstanding freshman point guard, averaging 20 points a ball game, along with Parker Coretti, Ryan Indermuley, Cole Isley, that's Lucas's cousin, and Joe Flannery, a six foot two junior. A freshman, a sophomore, a junior, and two seniors in that river starting lineup. For your Central Catholic Saints, it's an all senior starting lineup led by, or four seniors and a junior in the starting lineup, led by Mitch Heron, averaging 18 points of all game, Michael Teeter. Alex Milliman is a force inside. Jay O'Donnell, lightning quick, and Ty Colombo, the six foot five junior, into the starting lineup for the Saints, averaging about nine points a ball game. Teeter averaging just over nine a game. It'll be Milliman jumping center against Ender Muley to get this ball game underway. The opening tap brought to you by Dr. Kurt Guerin and the visiting River Pilots wearing their traveling red uniforms grabbing the opening tip. And this is Coretti, a sophomore out front with a basketball, giving it to Isley. He goes on top to Cole Isley. Ender Muley. Ender Muley. Right wing to Isley. The Saints in a man-to-man -man defense. Central Catholic losing three ball games this year. Highland, Dayton, Chaminade, Julianne, and Cornerstone Christian. Corner jump shot is up and good by Cole Isley, a five foot eight senior. The Pilots love to shoot the basketball. The Saints fast break broke it up and knocked out of bounds. Jay O'Donnell is going to draw the, uh, you know, ticket to uh, guard. Uh, Lucas Isley, Matt, he's he's only a freshman, but... Uh, that is Colombo with the jumper. First team all district as a freshman. But it was the sophomore, Cole Isley, that made that first basket. There's a change up by the Saints. They're coming out in a 1-3-1 one, one, half-court trap press. They'll trap the corners. Pass goes inside, and we're going to have a foul on O'Donnell, I think. Flannery should go to the line to shoot a couple. Joe Hissom, Matt Hissom, and Mike Sheehan, the officials tonight. And Flannery, line to the right. Foul shots up it in. Flannery, the biggest pilot on the floor, 6-2, Matt, so the Saints going to have to use that height advantage on the offensive end. Flannery makes them both. Pilots are pressing. And comes down the floor to Heron. And that is Teeter spinning into the lane, kicking it out, but nobody there. And then the ball knocked out of bounds by the Pilots. The River Pilots literally are on the river. They're little town Hannibal, south of Steubenville on Route 7. And school sits about 300 yards from the river. Yep. About halfway between Marietta and Steubenville. It's a long trip up here for the ball game. No easy way to get here. <laughs> this is Milliman in the lane. Nice shot by Alex Milliman. Saints change it up again now. Trying to give this young team a lot of different looks different, defensively. Different looks, speed them up, frustrate them a little bit. It's Lucas Isley. The Fine freshman with the basketball driving into the lane. The kick out to Indermuley. On top to Coretti. Back to Lucas. Lucas Isley. Against O'Donnell. Baseline Flannery to the basket. No, he walked. Traveled on the trip. And the Saints get the ball trailing by one. Central looking for their second straight sectional championship. Oh, turnover in the backcourt. Lucas Isley, the jumper, the rim. He got it on the bounce. Friendly roll. And O'Donnell oh, across the timeline, over and back. And River's doing just to the Saints what the Saints are trying to do to River. They're speeding them up, getting them out of their game, forcing them into some bad passes and bad shots. Now, Coach 
Tyrone Miller says we have to do the little things, the ordinary things, extraordinarily well. And right now, it's not happening in the first couple of minutes of the ball game. And on the end line, Indermuley has it stripped away. Good defensive play there down the floor to Heron. Heron on the break. There's a collision and a whistle. He'll get two at the line. Pilots trying to draw the charge. Joe Hissom said no. And it will send Mitchell Heron, East District Player of the Year, to the foul line. The 5'11 senior, 70% plus at the foul line, gets his first points of the ball game. Uh, as you alluded before, doing the little things, what uh, Coach Miller means very simply is making foul shots and not turning the ball over. Being in the right spot defensively. 7-6 Pilots, Heron made them both. Max Fragoss into the ball game for the Saints. He has started many games this year. Coretti with the basketball between the circles, has it broken up, throws it away to Isley, Cole Isley back to Coretti. And a Coretti on the dribble between the rings. Coretti gives the basketball to Lucas Isley. He's the freshman, number four. To his into the corner to Indermuley. Back to Lucas. Lucas driving to the hoop. Off the window. No. Rebound controlled by Millen. Outlet pass to Teeter. Over to Heron. Cross court to Milliman. He loses it. And down the floor it goes. And it's banked up and in by Lucas Isley. Lucas has four. And the Saints find themselves trailing here in the first quarter of play. Millen around the horn to Teeter. Fragas, bounce pass low to Alex Millen. Kicks it out to Heron, a deep three, yes. Heron ties the game with 3.48 to play in quarter number one. It is Flannery giving the basketball to Isley. Coretti. Lucas Isley out front. River Pilots minus one player tonight. Blaze Amos isn't here. He's in Washington, D.C. Bruce, what a scholarship a national finalist of some kind? Americanism. Americanism scholarship contest national finalist. He's a role player, and he's in D.C. Shot is up too short. Flannery the rebound. It's been a tough week for River. They had all that snow in southern Ohio. Their coach, Mark Romick, says they got about 11 inches of snow on the ground there. Couldn't practice yesterday. Got to practice in this morning, I guess. Yep, they've been out of school a couple of days. That just throws, your, throws you out of your rhythm. Pilots now kind of spreading things out here in the first quarter of play with a score tied. Saints prime, trying to pressure the ball, and Isley dribbling, takes it to the hoop and walks. Trying to do a little bit too much there. Ryan Dick is in for the Saints, replacing Alex Milliman. Turnovers piling up already here in the first quarter. Unofficially, we have them at four each. Six, five and a half minutes into the first quarter. It is for Goss across the timeline. To Heron, open for three. Too strong. Rebound, River. Down the floor it comes to Indermuley. Indermuley low to Flannery, back to Indermuley for three. Rim no, rebound Saints. Clear to Fergoss. Central Catholic beats Strasburg 51 to 30 in the sectional opener while River beat Steubenville Catholic Central 46-44 in overtime in the sectional opener. Goes inside to Colombo. That, that time Matt River was in a 1-2-2 zone. That leaves the middle open, and they found Colombo in the middle wide open for the layup. And to the Saints with the half-court pressure, we have a foul call. It'll be on Heron. That's his first, team's first. Substitution O'Donnell back into the ball game. His 
came second, excuse me. Millerman back in. So the Saints now have Dick, Teeter, uh, Milliman, Cress on the floor. And that's another thing for Central. They have very deep bench, Matt. They can go about four deep into the bench where I haven't seen that from River yet. It is Parker Coretti on the dribble out front, guarded by Michael Teeter. Coretti, just a sophomore, but he started as a freshman last year. Brandon Smith into the ball game. First sub for River, had it there in the corner. Back to Coretti, drives into the paint, banks it off the glass. It in. First two for Coretti. We're tied again at 11. Saints quickly into the front court. This is Cress giving the basketball to O'Donnell. River stays in that 1-2-2 two, two, or 3-2 zone. Under a minute here in the first quarter at New Philadelphia High School. Coming up next in this gym, Malvern will be in action playing Zanesville Rosecrans. The two winners tonight play next Wednesday night at Meadowbrook High School. And if the Saints are playing, we'll have that ball game for you on Big Time Sports. Coming up Tuesday on Big Time Sports, the new Philly girls in the regionals. How about that? They'll be taking on Solon in a regional semifinal from Canton. And Solon was the one seed in that uh, region, and uh, new Philly was the two seed. Saints in the corner. Ryan Dick has shot too short. Rebound loose and stripped away at the buzzer. So we play one. And we're tied. Central Catholic 11 and River 11. Back after this on Big Time Sports. Dumont Sporting Goods has been outfitting winning teams since 1977. Put Doug Clark and his experienced staff to work for your team. See them for school jackets, silk screening, and embroidery. Dumont's is especially proud to be your exclusive area Russell Athletic Team Specialist. All of the name brands you love, close to home. That's Dumont's Sporting Goods on Tuscross Avenue in downtown Dover. Team specialists since 1977. Woods Tall Timber Resort is a vacation that's close to home. The Seven Acre Lake is the focal point of the resort with camping May through October. Splash away your summer days at the beach and in the fall enjoy brilliant colors from your own private cottage. Whether you enjoy primitive camping or the amenities of home, Woods Tall Timber Resort has it all. Luxurious cottages feature equipped kitchens, a full bathroom and room for eight guests. The resort includes a clubhouse, concession stand, bait shop, shower house and laundromat. And the recreation never ends. Enjoy summer fun on water slides, inflatable trampolines, paddle boats, and electric boats, plus house rentals, fishing, game room, playground, woodpecker par 3 golf, and miniature golf, and of course hiking trails. And now Woods Tall Timber Resort has zip lines. It's the best value around for this exciting way to fly. Rides start at just $15. Small zips and kitty zips are also available. And the Lake House Lodge can accommodate your party, reception, reunion, or event. Check out all of the fun online at woodstalltimberlake.com. Tell me, are you confident in your financial game plan? I'm Matt Ferris, president of Ferris Financial. If you're like most people, you've probably spent a lot of time talking about getting your financial affairs in order, but for some reason, the game plan has never come together. At Ferris Financial, we're here to help you solidify your personal, business, and estate planning goals so we can build a winning game plan together and help you achieve peace of mind. Call us at 330-321-1413. Ferris Financial, helping you plan, protect, and prosper. Tie game at the end of the first quarter of play. And with a look at the uh, Haas Body Shop quarter recap, Mr. Bruce Witter. Yeah, and actually a very good quarter for both teams, Matt. You know, Coach Romick said they play hard, and they did play hard from the start of the game. 11-11, both teams turned the ball over four times. Both teams shot the ball pretty well. Nobody in foul trouble. Very good first quarter for both teams. From suits to work boots, try Miller Clothing and Shoes in downtown New Philadelphia. Marty Miller's got a team of all-stars like Hager Lee and Wrangler Jeans. 
for your feet. It's Hush Puppy and Red Wing Shoes. And to complete the wardrobe, Carhartt, Van Houston, and Arrow. The best is at Miller Clothing and Shoes. See Miller Clothing and Shoes today. Keep your socks high, your powder dry. Give Marty Miller a try. Jay O'Donnell, front court. Michael Teeter, O'Donnell. This is Heron. In and out. Rebound, Ryan Dick. Sneaking in and stealing a carom. River staying with that 3-2 zone look. It looks like they're going to make the Saints beat them from the outside, or try to anyway. Now they get it inside of there to, uh, to Milliman. Kicks it back out to Heron. Now Teeter on the penetration high off of the window won't go. And another offensive rebound by a hustling Ryan Dick and a foul called on Lucas Isley. That's his first, Matt, team second. That's what the Saints have to do. They have a height advantage. They're going to crash the offensive boards. Colombo into the ball game. They got Colombo and Milliman both out there. That's a pretty big lineup for the Saints. Opening minute of the second quarter of play. Donald fakes, so Donald drives, and won't go, rebound. Milliman won't go, and it's controlled by River. Flannery coming down with the rebound. Central stays with their man-to-man. -man. Stuck at 11 to 11. And in the corner, a traveling call on Isley. Uh, Cole Isley, the senior. Now back into the ballgame is Smith, and sitting down is Cole Isley. Saints get the ball back, and the uh, Pilots continuing to put on some backcourt pressure. And another whistle and a foul at midcourt. I believe this will go against Coretti. No, Brandon Smith. First foul on Smith. Third team foul. Mitch Heron, three balls up, no good. Rebound controlled by Teeter. Teeter underneath is fouled. He'll get two at the line. A year ago, the Central Catholic Saints basketball team won an award for having the highest grade point average in the state of Ohio. A team grade point average of 3.9. Wow. And they might do that again this year. It's some bright young men out there. Teeter puts the first foul shot up and in. The second one is good. Saints by two now, after Teeter makes them both. And the River Pilots to the attack. River winning eight times this year, lost twice in overtime, a bunch of close losses, with 10 to their 14, by Bruce, by five points five or less. Five or less, yes. And a three-second call. We'll go against the pilot. This is the type of team that you can't let hang around. I mean, you have a senior-laden team from Central against a younger squad, a squad that really hasn't learned how to win those close games yet. But if you let them hang around down to the end, Central's going to have a problem. This is Colombo at midcourt, and it's taken away from behind. Another turnover, Lucas Isley to Coretti. Coretti, three ball too strong. Rebound controlled by Milliman. And it is for Goss pushing it up the floor for Central Catholic over to Teeter. And Teeter back to for Goss over to Mitch Heron. Back on top now to Teeter. Teeter between the rings for Goss. In the corner. Aaron fakes the shot. 
In low to Milliman, a strong move to the basket by Alex Milliman. They got to spread this zone out and open up those lanes like that to try to get that ball down inside on those creases, just like that on the replay. Yeah, yeah. Milliman, yeah. use that height advantage. Milliman unable to convert the three-point play, and the rebound tipped out of bounds to the Pilots, but that was a good job by Milliman to, to flash out to the foul line and then quick move to the basket. Yeah, they've been posting high with Colombo and low with Milliman, but that kind of jams that up in there a little bit. So they're going to have to pass the ball, reverse it a lot of times, and try to get it down on the low block. Lucas Isley, long shot too short, and held ball call will give it to the Pilots. That's just kind of a freshman mistake there by Isley. You know, I was kind of rushed that shot and didn't draw any iron anywhere. It'll be Flannery to inbound the ball. He's a 6'2 junior for River. Flannery bounces it in low to Coretti, and Coretti banks it up and in with a strong backup move to the hoop. Draws to the Pilots back within two points. Aaron for Goss to the attack. Missed it. Saints looking for a foul. And Coretti at midcourt on the dribble. Saints man to man. In the corner, Cole Isley. And we have a whistle. And a foul is going to go against Max Fragos. That's his first. Third on the team. It'll be pilot ball. And Max is going to sit down and Bo Beamer into the contest. 15 foul on the Saints. Both teams with five team fouls here in the second quarter. It is Isley, the freshman, Lucas Isley, giving it to Coretti. Coretti against Teeter to Intermule. His jump shot is up and good. Got the roll, and we're tied again at 15. So the Pilots have scored four in a row. Heron to Beamer on the layup, and a good break. And that's the way they're going to break this press with the long skip pass like that and then they catch somebody wide open for a layup. Lucas Isley with a basketball. Freshman averages 20 points a ball game. To Coretti right in front of the Central Catholic bench. To Intermule. Saints by two. 3-12 to play in the quarter. Isley spinning to the basket, fouled. It's going to go against Beamer. The Rivers offense is just kind of, they just open it up for Isley just like that so he can kind of go one on one, on one in the middle of the, the uh, court to try Luke. to get some close shots. This foul shot is up at any now is five on the ninth. Pretty smooth for a freshman. But he's a gym rat. He's a uh, the, the uh, son of the girls basketball coach at River. So he has spent, yeah. like I said, a lot of time in the gym with a basketball in his hands. Beamer, Milliman, Milliman in the lane, kicks it out to Teeter. Beamer, Heron, open for the three. Yes. They just got to move the ball quicker, don't hold it, pass it, hot potato it, look down inside or find uh, Heron for that three outside. The freshman answers with a two-point shot. And a long pass down the floor, knocked out of bounds by Coretti. This is Saints again trying to break the press with a long pass. That's eight for Isley here late in the second quarter. Go 
coach Tyrone Miller saying before the ball game, yeah, he averages 20 a game. We just have to make sure he doesn't turn that into a 30-point ball game. Oh, oh Milliman lost the handle on it. Flannery comes away with it on the turnover. Flannery gives it to Coretti. And in the corner, Cole Isley, the jump shot no good. Melman pulls down the rebound. Teeter runs it front court. Teeter kicks it to Beamer. Milliman, Heron for three again. Nope. Rebound on the run. The River Pilots. It is Cole Lucas Isley, and he's fouled with a reach in. And I think they got Colombo on the foul. That's his first. Austin Dick back into the ball game, replacing Beamer. Colombo sits down. Jay O'Donnell back on to four of the Saints. River been very hot here in the first half. To keep themselves in the game. They're eight of 13 unofficially from the floor. Isley, long jump shot, pops out. Heron rips down the rebound. Heron on the run, skips it to Milliman to the basket. Oh, my. Milliman muscles it to the hoop. And the Saints lead by three. And the ball not loose. Coretti tracks it down. But we're going to have a foul on O'Donnell scrambling for the loose basketball. Yeah, I don't think he, he, he didn't make an effort to go for the ball. He just kind of jumped on top of a 16 foul here with a minute left in the second quarter. It's the second on O'Donnell. O'Donnell will sit down and uh, Bo Beamer back on to four. Tuscarawas Central Catholic. Lucas Isley on the dribble for the River Pilots. Under a minute to play, first half. Intermuley to Coretti. Coretti, right corner. Against to Milliman. Coretti dumps it low for Flannery, and it's taken away. And then Flannery with a reach in to foul. And Flannery picks up his first. Both teams with 16 fouls here with 37 seconds left in the first second quarter. River will press. Dick will inbound to Heron with 36 seconds. Teeter, Milliman to Dick. And Teeter holding it at the center circle with 19 seconds to play. Central Catholic led Strasburg just by six points at halftime, ended up winning by 19 in the opener here. There's a foul on the drive and Heron will go to the line. They outscored Strasburg 27 to 12 in the second half last week. I think it's Austin Dick on the drive that yes, got fouled. Yes, you're correct. Three seconds left here in the first half. Austin Dick's played well coming off of the bench. Getting a couple of offensive rebounds, makes that foul shot. Cress is in, and Heron is out for the Saints. And Dick, the second foul shot, yes. And we are now at halftime. So at the half, Central Catholic 24. The River Pilots 19. We'll be back right after this on Big Time Sports. If you or a loved one suffer from allergies, chronic sinusitis, or have trouble with your hearing, call the office of Dr. Kurt C. Guerin, ear, nose, and throat specialist. Their audio team of Krishnell and Angie Hisner will evaluate or prevent hearing loss. Dr. Guerin's team can diagnose and treat your season allergies. And they perform balloon sinoplasty. It's a new in-office procedure to treat chronic sinusitis. Don't suffer any longer. Call Dr. Guerin for an appointment today. Located in the Heritage Square Shopping Center in Dover. 330-343-9600. 
Home improvements make your life easier and add to the aesthetics and value of your home. Look to the Wayne Garage Door Sales and Service Showroom for garage doors, entry doors, storm doors, windows, gutters, siding, heritage stone, and awnings. Plus knowledgeable associates to help you create a distinct look for your home. Wayne Garage Door, quality workmanship and service after the sale since 1973 on State Route 39 in Dover. More than just garage doors. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency, your professional insurance experts representing the Motorist Insurance Group. Team with Tom Hampshire for all your insurance, auto, home, business, and life. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency, winning your insurance trust for over 50 years. Professional service, professional products. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency and the Motorist Insurance Group, your hometown insurance experts in the Tuscaroras Valley. Call today, 1-800-682-0145. The Inn at Northwood Village is a premier assisted living residence. Each private suite is designed to offer the optimum comfort, security, and privacy. Personalized services include a 24-hour on-site licensed nurse, three full meals daily, cable TV, utilities, daily social events, and weekly housekeeping. Our caring professional team provides the best in senior assisted living care and services. Models of assisted and memory care suites are open. Call today to schedule a tour. The Inn at Northwood Village, where your family is our family. At Rent to Own, you'll find nice people helping you rent to own furniture, rent to own appliances, rent to own electronics, and rent to own computers. We've got nice stuff that nice people like you need. Check out our great rental prices. You'll never own any cheaper. And be sure to look for our monthly specials on needed items for your home. We have great deals on our huge selection of products. At Rent to Own, we'll help you make your next purchase a whole lot easier. Stop in today. Central Catholic Saints lead by five, 24 to 19, outscoring the Pilots eight or uh, 13 to eight in the uh, second quarter of play. And we'll take a look at our a uh, little bit of fan cam action there. Some of the folks on the uh, Central Catholic bench, including uh, Zane Douglas there and Jackson Triplett. Yeah. Adam DeCaminata. All right, it's time for our halftime report, brought to you by First National Bank. And with a look at the halftime numbers, Bruce Witter. And you see these stats that come up here. Field goals, River shot the ball very well in the first half, 8 of 14 from the field. TCC, not bad either, 8 of 19. Couple of more threes they hit from the free throw line. Both teams very efficient. River 4-4, four four. TCC 6 of 7. Now the little things, TCC has dominated the boards. Nine rebounds to Rivers 2, and they have forced River into nine turnovers, while TCC has turned the ball over six times. We were tied at the end of one, 11 to 11. And Central outscoring the Pilots by five in the second quarter. Mitchell Heron, eight points to lead. Central Catholic, Luz, uh, Lucas Isley with eight points to pace the River Pilots. So at halftime, it is Central Catholic by five. B&T Tire Service is located at 602 East High Avenue in New Philadelphia, across the street from Bud and Tooties. They've got Michelin, Cooper, and General Tires for your car or truck. Also specialize in brake repair and brake lines. B&T Tire Service, 602 East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. The Central Catholic Saints looking for victory number 21 on the year. River coming into the game, 8 and 14. The winner plays Wednesday night, the 11th of March, 7 p.m., Meadowbrook High School District Semifinal against either Malvern or Rosecrans coming up on Tuesday on Big Time Sports Divisional Regional Girls Play or Division One Regional Girls Play, New Philly against Solon. And for game times, go to BigTimesportsOhio.com. BigTimesportsOhio.com. You can get the complete tournament basketball schedule. Hey, now there are a lot of drive-throughs, but only one shortstop drive-through. Open at 6 a.m. for hot coffee at Rod's Donuts and your favorite beverages. The shortstop, located on North of Dawson in Uricksville, open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. 
And don't forget about CJ's drive through on Grant Street in Denison, both owned by Doug and Becky Henry. Eric Schiller, Denison, they can service all of your uh, desires for beverages and snacks and all that good stuff. We'll be back with the uh, second half right after this on Big Time Sports. Looking for a dentist for you and your family? Someone you can trust with your smile? Someone that offers emergency service as well as tender, loving care? Well, it's Dr. Sean Moan and the Dover Dental Group. Give the Dover Dental Group a call at 330-343-8132 to schedule your appointment. Find Dover Dental at 129 West 2nd Street in Dover. You've known Peterman for years as the area's premier plumbing company. Now you'll know us as the area's number one heating and cooling company, too. We service residential and commercial customers, and with our trained service technicians, fully stocked service trucks, and 24-hour service, why would you call anyone else? Peterman, the area's one-stop source for all your plumbing and heating and cooling needs. Call us today at 330-364-4497 or look us up online at petermanphc.com. If you think you can't afford new flooring, think again. Think you don't have time for shopping and installation? Think again. Visit One Stop Flooring next to the post office in downtown Dover. It's fast, friendly, and affordable. How affordable? The three-room special gives you up to 40 yards of new carpet with padding and installation for $426. Free in-home sample showings and estimates save you time and money. One Stop Flooring, quality flooring and expert installation at affordable prices. Call 330-364-4745. If you're looking for good food in a relaxed setting, then you need to try Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. Malcutt's Tavern features the very best in steaks, seafood, and pasta, and their pork chops are just fabulous. Treat yourself to something special. Take the short drive to Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. If it's good food you're looking for, we'll see you at Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. 719 South Wooster Avenue in Strasburg, phone 330-878-7898. Weekend reservations suggested. At Dover Brake, they know a thing or two about brakes. After all, Dover Brake has been offering professional brake service since 1975. Be sure to visit their expanded showroom for a great selection of hard-to-find parts and accessories for your truck or commercial fleet. They offer free estimates and welcome commercial work, too. For professional brake service, see Paul and Robin McCoy and the crew at Dover Brake, Route 21 in Strasburg. Dover Brake is open six days a week. We're at New Philadelphia High School for boys, a Division IV sectional basketball action. Tuscarora Central Catholic leading the River Pilots by five at halftime, 24 to 19. For the best in pizza, pasta, and salads, be sure to try Pangrazio Pizza and Spaghetti House. Pangrazio's has two locations, downtown Dover and downtown Uricksville, before or after the game. It's always delicious at Pangrazio Pizza and Spaghetti House. Dine in or carry out and see you at Pangrazio's soon. Interesting first half of play. I think uh, River Pilots, as you mentioned before the ball game, Bruce, a scrappy type of team, and they've played with some, although they've had nine turnovers, they've played with some poise here in the first half to hang tough with Central Cal. Yeah, for as young as they are, they've played very very well defensively. They've gotten beaten on the boards pretty well, so forth, but as, you know, we talked about and Brett talked, I, I think this 24-19 lead's the biggest lead of the ball game uh, by Central, I'm almost positive, but very scrappy team, and like I, you know, we talked about early, you just can't let these younger groups like this hang around. You know, Coach from River even said they don't play to the clock. They just play. And so far, they've played hard. Well, the start of the second half is brought to you by Dr. Kurt Guerin. And on the floor for the Saints, Ty O'Donnell. Or uh, Ty Colombo, Jay O'Donnell. Alex Milliman, Mitchell Heron, and Michael Teeter. And for the River Pilots... Parker Coretti, Lucas Isley, Cole Isley, Ryan Indermuley, 
And Joe Flattery. Saints ball to begin to the third quarter play. And it is O'Donnell between to the circles. Hounded there. And the ball comes into the hands of Teeter. River out in a man-to-man -to, -man to start the second half. And Ty Colombo at the high post is fouled by Lucas Isley reaching in from behind. And that's his second foul. See if River goes back to the zone or if they'll stay in man to man here on the OB. Oh, nice inbounds play. That is Milliman, and he's got eight in the ball game. I think that was a half and half. Half of them were man and half of them were zone. <laughs> there was some confusion there. Yes, there was. And Milliman took advantage of it. Opens up a seven point lead for Central Catholic and a quick timeout by River Coach. And, and right now, you know, we're going to take a break, but dangerous point of the ball game for River. Absolutely. Seven point St. Lead on Big Time Sports. Do you enjoy the outdoors? Ever dream of owning a cabin or vacation home? At Weaver Barns, we build buildings perfect for all those dreams. From our cabins to our majestic timber lodge, from small sheds to big barns, Weaver Barns has the perfect solution for you. Come see for yourself at our display lot, located on State Route 39 in Sugar Creek. Visit our website at weaverbarns.com or give us a call at 888-289-4940. Welcome to Mount Hope Fence, located in Mount Hope, Ohio, where you can add elegance to your outdoor space with one of our durable, low-maintenance pavilions, gazebos, or pergolas. Choose one from our showroom, or we can build to order. Add to your backyard escape with a stone fireplace or other landscape ideas. More than just fence, we're about the full line of outdoor living products. All of our products come with a lifetime warranty. Click online at mounthopefence.com or visit our showroom at 7102 County Road 77. Mount Hope Fence. We've got the inside on the outdoors. If you want to make your business successful for years to come, then you need to partner with Graphic Publications and our Bluefoot Digital products. Our customers receive a strategic marketing plan in both digital and print media that can include website design, hosting and content creation, interactive mobile apps, videos and graphic design. For the past 40 years, Graphic Publications has been helping businesses grow with our innovative marketing solutions that enable you to reach and exceed your goals. Contact Graphic Publications at 888-674-1010. Make your vehicle last longer and run better. Fix it with parts from Harrison Napa Auto Parts in Sugar Creek. With over 20,000 parts in stock, our ASE certified staff will get you the right part right away and get your vehicle running. Order your part online and pick it up. Just log on to NapaOnline.com. Call us at 330-852-4671 or visit us at Harrison Napa Auto Parts, 793 Dover Road in Sugar Creek. Get your car running smooth with Harrison Napa Auto Parts. Shook Auto is the largest independent vehicle sales company in the area. With over 300 vehicles in stock ranging from $1,000 to $30,000 and everywhere in between. Shook Auto employs a full staff of ASE certified technicians. They service what they sell. Shook Auto has two locations, 1633 Steel Hill Road and 205 South Broadway in New Philadelphia. Online at ShookAuto.com. Well, now the Saints lead by seven, getting the first basket of the third quarter of play. Oh, some fan cam action there, and it is River basketball. Saints open up in a zone look now. Matchup type zone. Little different look, because they played a lot of man-to-man -man here in the first half of this game. The Saints would like to jump on him right now. Flannery kicks it out to Smith. Back to Lucas Isley. And this is a good move by Coach Miller, I believe, because River has not done any damage down inside at all. Most of their points have come off of drives. Pass down low, kicked around, and the Saints get the turnover. And now the Saints lose it at midcourt. And it is Isley on the drive to the hoop, and he's fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. At Milliman called for the foul. 
his first. Second on the team, Lucas Isley shooting two, has eight points, averages 20. Sectional championship game for New Philadelphia High School. The second foul shot too short. Mitchell Heron grabs the rebound. Mitchell Heron, the leading scorer on the Central Catholic team, averages about 18, 19 points a ball game. But he's also a tough rebounder, leader in assists. Does a little bit of everything for Central Catholic other than put points on the board. River showing a little matchup zone now as well. And is teetered inbound in front of the Central Catholic bench. Now gives to O'Donnell at the point. At the high post, Ty Colombo. Colombo kicks it out to Heron for the three ball. Off for the rim, no. And we have a foul on the rebound. And it might be against Milliman for going over the back. It's number two on him. You'll see the replay right here. Went over the back of Coretti. Isley walks it up to the floor. Sorry. Turnovers piling up for both teams here early in the third quarter. Kind of like they did early in the first quarter. Yes, sir. Central sticking with this matchup zone. Off balance shot by Isley, no good. A rebound, Colombo. Down the floor, and the shot is up, and ruled no good on the foul by O'Donnell. Called for charging. And I believe that's three now on O'Donnell. Yes, it is. And it is the third team foul against the Saints in the second half. Coretti has it taken away by Teeter. And then we have a whistle and a foul on Coretti for reaching in. Coretti trying to get it back, committed the foul. It's going to be his third foul here. And, and as we talked about, River's not real deep on the bench. So They've used six players yeah. so far today. So he stays in the game with three. Max Fragas is in for O'Donnell, who sits down with the three fouls for Central Catholic. It is Heron putting up the jump shot too short. Rebound controlled by River and Joe Flannery. That's the traffic go by and gives the basketball to Parker Coretti. Bounce pass to Flannery. Central back and straight man to man now. This is... Brandon Smith, a junior, a lone player off of the bench to play tonight. Right-handed jump shot is up, no good. A rebound poked out and controlled by the Pilots. Lucas Isley clears to his cousin Cole Isley for three. Too strong, a rebound controlled by the Saints Teeter. Down the floor to Heron. Gives the basketball to Milliman. Back on top to Michael Teeter. for Goss. Colombo. Back to Fragas corner, low to Milliman. Saints leading by six. They were on top by five at halftime. This is Colombo down low. Triple team now. Has his arm ripped off. No call. And now Teeter will be called for a foul at midcourt. First foul on Teeter. It'll be a river basketball at midcourt. Eighth turnover by Central, and that's their 15th foul here halfway through the third quarter. And Isley to the basket. Banked it up and in. I'll tell you what, this kid's a good ball player. Yes, Freshman. Very smooth, but once again, like we talked about, he's one of those gym rats. Now and Teeter called for traveling in another Central Catholic turnover. Number nine. 
And Centro, who came out fast, you know, they only scored two points here in the third quarter because it was 24-19. Yeah, they got that first basket, yep. opened up a seven-point lead, and since then they've been unable to score. There's a steal by Heron, and Heron has it stripped away by Isley and out of bounds. River is scrapping. 12 turnovers for River, so it's become a quarter of turnovers, Matt. And a timeout is called on the floor by the Central Catholic Saints. A chance for us to tell you about Weaver Appliance on Route 39 in Sugar Creek. They handle washers, dryers, refrigerators, dishwashers, freezers. Fair prices and excellent customer service at Weaver Appliance, Route 39 in Sugar Creek. Now the Central Catholic Saints, the favored team coming into this ball game, second seeded team of the tournament, the River Pilots seeded ninth. But we've got ourselves a ball game right now with the Saints leading by just four, five minutes deep into the uh, third quarter of play. Central needs to get a quick basket off of this inbounds play underneath their own basket. Put them back to a six point lead. It is for Goss to inbound the basketball, throws it into Milliman. Good ball movement. Heron's open for a three point shot. It's short, rebounded by Teeter, scoops it up and in, and is fouled. What a play by Michael Teeter. Another good job by the Saints on the offensive boards. They've just controlled the boards tonight, both offensively and defensively. You can see it on the Domino's big play replay. Look at that little scoop. O'Donnell is in, Heron is out. For the Saints, Teeter at the foul line. Got it. And Teeter now with five in the ball game. And Central Catholic Saints with a three-point play. Open up the lead a little bit again. And we're going to have another foul. A lot of whistles. You know, it's at six team fouls. So now it's foul on Teeter is second. Five team fouls okay. on them. But the turnovers, been more whistles for turnovers than anything else. They've done limited scoring by both teams here in the third quarter. Isley on the dribble to Coretti. Saints man to man now. And the ball tipped. It'll be out of bounds to Central Catholic. Unforced turnover, I believe that's number 13 for the River Pilots. And now the River Pilots want to take a 30 second timeout. And despite the turnovers here in the third quarter of play, the Central Catholic Saints have opened up again a seven point lead, matching their biggest lead of the ball game. And they have possession and kind of an opportunity here to start to uh, open up the gap a little bit. Yeah, Brent and I talked a little bit at halftime about Central needs to try to open up a double-digit lead going in here into the fourth quarter. Attention in the kitchen. Now there's good news for pasta lovers. Treat your noodles to the best, and that is the delicious Chibos pasta sauce. Meat or meatless Chibos pasta sauce, just like Grandma used to make. It's now available at your local neighborhood markets such as Bueller's in New Philly and Dover, Mako's in Uricksville, McCombs in Midvale. If it's Italian, you want the best, it's gotta be Chibo's pasta sauce. Try some today. Saints of the basketball against some river 2-2-1 pressure to O'Donnell, to Heron, to the basket, and he will go to the line after getting knocked to the floor. This is, you know, this is probably the quickest team that Central's played this year besides Highland. You know, this quickness of River, they just get right in those passing lanes and, and get their hands on the ball a lot. 71% foul shooter, Mitchell Heron, wide right. Eight points tonight. Got it. Aaron, now with 10 points in the game. 
And the Saints have their biggest advantage of the night. They stay with this three-quarter court pressure. We're going to spread it out and try to kill the rest of this clock maybe here in the third quarter. I don't know. Saints sitting back, not pressuring the basketball. They've got a nine-point lead. Yeah, they don't need to pressure. Exactly. There's a jumper put up it in by Indermuel. He has four. Quickly, down the floor, it goes to Teeter in the lane, scoops it up, no good. Rebound controlled by Indermuel. Indermuel gives it to Isley, and Isley runs front court, fires up a quick three off the front of the rim, no good. And Mitchell Heron pulls down the rebound for Central Catholic. O'Donnell giving the basketball to Heron for Goss around the horn. Teeter, cross court pass for Goss, low. Milliman. Milliman will take it to the basket. Put it in. Man, he's got some nice moves down around the block. Yeah, well, you see how quickly they move the ball around the perimeter. That opens that up well off the reversal down in on that low block. And again, it's a nine-point lead for the Saints as we play the final minute of the third quarter. It would appear that River will be content for a final shot. Well, maybe not. Pass in the lane, knocked away, intermurely controls. Coretti backs it up again. Oh, nice pass. Down low for Indermule, and he banked it in before the buzzer. Yeah, great job by Isley there off that crossover dribble and found the open man. We've played three of the Saints on top here on Big Time Sports. Since 1972, Taylor Insurance and Financial Services has been serving the Tuscarawas Valley with friendly and professional advice. With over 100 years of combined experience, Taylor Insurance and Financial Services offers the best in auto and home insurance, 401k rollovers, IRA transfers, and a full line of property and casualty coverage. With two locations to serve you, 4th Street Northwest in New Philadelphia and on 2nd Street in Coshocton, there's no need to look any further than Taylor Insurance and Financial Services. Walton's Auto and Glass has been a family-owned and operated automotive parts shop since the days of the Model T. Walton's carries auto parts and paint, as well as glass, for your every need, including tabletops, mirrors, shelves, windows, and frames. Walton specializes in replacement and repair of automotive, ATV, and residential glass, and takes pride in giving you OEM quality or better for your new or antique car. With a successful business since 1931, you know you can trust Walton's. Find them at 371 South Broadway in New Philadelphia. It's time to tailgate, and that means it's time for carryout buckets of delicious Manor chicken. Whether you're going to the game or just need a quick dinner for your family, choose the Manor restaurant in Strasburg. With their buckets of chicken and homemade sides, it's the easy way to enjoy a great meal before the game or anytime. The Manor is open six days a week, closed Mondays. For homemade flavor, never outdone. Come on down for great food and fun. The Manor restaurant on North Worcester Avenue in Strasburg. Do you want a happy and healthy pet? Pets Place offers great service and the healthiest of dog and cat foods. We carry a wide range of all-natural dog chews, biscuits, and a huge selection of toys, a DIY pet wash, and all other pet needs. Pets Place offers a great selection of freshwater fish, small animal reptiles, and birds. So bring your pet to Pets Place, 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia, or check us out on the web at www.petsplace.com. Remodeling and improving your home are always in season. Bring your ideas to your showroom at Holmes Lumber Design Center, downtown Sugar Creek. Featuring craft-made kitchens and bath displays with custom countertops. 
plus Anderson and Atrium windows and Provia windows and doors. Rooftop shingle delivery of top shingle brands. Make a fun space with Azek and TimberTech decks. Excellent interior millwork from our own facility. Hardwood interior doors and stair railings. Improve your home. We can help at Holmes Lumber Design Center, downtown Sugar Creek. It's all about you. It's all about you. The more we know you and your financial goals, the more easily we can help you achieve them. Talk to us. Find out why so many of your neighbors come by and talk with our trained loan officers. Around here, it's all about you. First National Bank of Denison, member FDIC. It's all about you. Haas Body Shop, third quarter recap. Third quarter started off pretty slow. A lot of turnovers by both teams. Sped up a little bit. The Saints actually built a nine-point lead at one time. River cut into it there at the end of the quarter. Saints, seven-point lead, 33-26. Outscoring River 9-7 to seven in the third quarter of play. Now, if you need a quick family fill-up, stop in at any Bell store. They've got tasty snacks, frozen treats, fresh brewed bean town coffee. You might also enjoy Subways or Domino's or Dairy Queen at various locations. Bell stores, handy, convenient, and, of course, great marathon gasoline. A river ball to begin the fourth quarter of play. Intermule, long jumper, too strong. He got his own rebound. Into the hands of Coretti, 14-foot jumper, swish. Coretti with six. And River hanging tough. Down the floor to Colombo, banks it in and it's foul. Good job by Colombo taking that ball strong to the hole. He gets the blocking foul, chance to make it a three-point play. Second foul of the ball game by Flannery. You see it on the big play replay. Good call on the block. And Colombo will go to the foul line where he shoots 71 to percent. 35-28, Saints, rebound, spins out, but Milliman with a stick back has 12. I don't know if River thought there was two shots or what, but nobody stepped into the lane to block anybody off. And the Saints lead by nine. Long three-point shot is up. No good by Isley. The rebound poked around. O'Donnell picks it up, bombs it down the floor to Milliman, and out of bounds at the end line. That was uh, Kyrie Irving-esque distance there. And well, the Pilots will get it back. And... Central just racked up double-digit turnovers for the game at 10. Coretti, jumper, good. Every time you think Central Catholics can open up a double-digit lead, the River Pilots get a basket or two. And they're quick. With, you know, Coretti, a sophomore, Isley, a freshman, they got a lot of quickness in those two guys. The Saints spreading things out a little bit offensively here in the fourth quarter of play. Michael Teeter dishes it low to Colombo. Great assist and a nice bank shot by Colombo. Good job finding Colombo open for the little bunny. Flannery bounce pass right side to Isley. Cross court to Coretti. Saints by nine. Six minutes left in the sectional championship game. Coretti spinning into the lane, leaves it short, got his own rebound. Bounced right back into his hands. They just let Coretti and Isley, Isley go one-on-one. -on -one. Isley forces up another. He's forced up a few shots here. We've got a held ball call. We'll give it to Central Catholic. Yeah, that's a little bit of the youth showing through when you start forcing shots like this. Once again, he probably hasn't seen defense in his face like Central's given him. He's also a kid with a lot of confidence in his shot. He doesn't look like a freshman at all out on the floor with the way he moves and handles the basketball. Very savvy. The pilots continuing to press. 
Teeter gets it across the top line to Milliman. Heron, now Teeter, running the point for the Saints. They're going to force them out of the zone and force them back into man-to-man -man if they can. Teeter in the corner. This is Max Fergoss. Michael Teeter. That's just what they did. They forced him right back into man-to-man. -man. And Teeter driving the lane, scooping it up. No good, but drew the foul. And he will go to the foul line. Forced him right into man-to-man. -man. Here's the drive. Yep, on your Weaver Burns replay. Michael Teeter's foul shot is good. Teeter now with six. Don't forget, at the end of the game, we'll be selecting our our uh, Manor Restaurant player of the game. And Teeter, 73% foul shooter, made them both. Teeter now with seven points, 41 to 30, an 11 point lead for the Saints, their biggest of the night. Yep, first double digit lead. And like uh, Brett said, you know, he wanted to get uh, center one to get into that double digit lead now to force. Uh, this youth to show up out of river. Coretti. Indermuley, 15 footer. Yes. He's got eight. Now you're going to see full court pressure by river. They're going to ramp it up. And we have a timeout right before that collision. And so. There is a break on the floor with 4.31 to play, and we'll be back after this on a Big Time Sports. Martini 97 in downtown Dover is T County's home for Buckeye Nation. Meet your friends and cheer on the Buckeyes on nine flat screen TVs. Martini 97 opens at noon on Saturdays for Buckeye games and college football. Pizza and beverage specials on game day make your celebration complete. And the party doesn't stop there. Every Friday and Saturday night, Martini 97 features the hottest area bands with no cover. Why pay just to get into your favorite hangout? Come to Martini 97 and the party's on us. Martini 97 on North Tuscarawas Avenue in downtown Dover. Home improvements make your life easier and add to the aesthetics and value of your home. Look to the Wing Garage Door Sales and Service Showroom for garage doors, entry doors, storm doors, windows, gutters, siding, heritage stone, and awnings. Plus knowledgeable associates to help you create a distinct look for your home. Wing Garage Door, quality workmanship and service after the sale since 1973 on State Route 39 in Dover. More than just garage doors. Let Designer Stone bring the beauty of natural stone into your home. Now granite from Designer Stone is affordable for your home. Granite is ideal for kitchen countertops, bathrooms and floors, and is elegant and unique in color and patterns. Make granite from Designer Stone the choice to beautify your home. Call Designer Stone today at 1-866-860-4747. Why do more employers and employees choose AltCare? It's easy. AltCare is the top-ranked plan in Ohio and one of the highest-rated health insurance plans in the nation. Access to doctors and hospitals you want, quick and accurate claim service, and a personal one-on-one -on -one approach are just a few of the reasons customers stay with us year after year. Exemplary service from caring professionals who you've grown to trust. Committed to our community, committed to you. The choice is clear. Choose AltCare. Dumont Sporting Goods has been outfitting winning teams since 1977. Put Doug Clark and his experienced staff to work for your team. See them for school jackets, silk screening, and embroidery. Dumont's is especially proud to be your exclusive area Russell Athletic Team Specialist. All of the name brands you love, close to home. That's Dumont's Sporting Goods on Tuscross Avenue in downtown Dover. Team Specialist since 1977. Tell me, are you confident in your financial game plan? I'm Matt Ferris, President of Ferris Financial. If you're like most people, you've probably spent a lot of time talking about getting your financial affairs in order, but for some reason, the game plan has never come together. At Ferris Financial, we're here to help you solidify your personal, business, and estate planning goals so we can build a winning game plan together and help you achieve peace of mind. Call us at 330-321-1413. 
Ferris Financial, helping you plan, protect, and prosper. A little fan cam there, brought to you by the uh, Dover Dental Group. Some of the Central Catholic fans having some fun there. The lady with the glasses would be uh, Michael Frederick's daughter, I believe. Sponsor of our starting lineup. Taking your medication at the right time is important, and if any drug has the right tool to help you follow your medication instructions, we call it Simplify My Meds. If you'd like to take or make taking your medications a bit easier, call Decini Drugs. Simplify My Meds. And Teeter simplifies things by bouncing it down the floor to Colombo, banked it up, no good. Rebounded by the Pilots. Coretti, Ender Muley, long jumper, no. Rebound, controlled by the Saints, but falling out of bounds with the basketball. In his possession was Milliman, and it will be River Basketball, 41-32, Saints, 4-10 to play. Coretti out front, Indermule, guarded by Milliman. To Coretti, double team, held ball, it goes to River. Jay O'Donnell is in, Max Fragas is out for Central Catholic. 3.48 to play in the contest. This is Flannery looking for somebody to throw it into, and the inbound is stolen away by O'Donnell. That was a great defensive job by the Saints there on that inbound. Here come the Saints. It is a Colombo throwing it out front to O'Donnell. And Central Catholic will spread things out a little bit. Teeter giving the ball to Milliman. 41-32, and Heron drives and is fouled in or out to the basket around the foul line area. And it's the one and one. So Mitchell Heron to the charity strike has 10 points tonight. And Heron, foul shot is good. This would be big for the Saints because they've been very efficient from the foul line. I believe they're 12 of 14 now from the foul line in the game, and they're in the one and one for the last three minutes and 20 seconds of the fourth quarter. As a team, they shoot 67% from the charity strike. Missed for that one. Rebound, controlled by Intermulli, knocked out of bounds, and it is St. Basketball. Fragas is in, O'Donnell is out for Central Catholic. Saints again lead by 10. Their biggest margin of the night has been 11. And this is Heron from the corner. Yes! <laughs> Biggest lead of the game for Central Catholic with 3.13 to play, and the Pilots want to take a timeout. It's been a struggle tonight for Central Catholic, but They've now got that double-digit lead. Yeah, that two big plays on defensive end and the offensive end. Central's defense did a great job of defending Rivers' inbounds and stole the ball. They came down off of their inbounds play. They found Heron wide open for the three. Gives them a 13-point lead. The winner, Wednesday night at Meadowbrook High School in the district semifinal against either Malvern or Rosecrans, they play in the second game here at New Philadelphia High School. Coming up on Big Time Sports Tuesday night, the New Philly girls in the uh, regional semifinals against Solon. And on Wednesday night, we very well may have that district semifinal for you from Meadowbrook High School, the Central Catholic is playing. And that district 
final at Meadowbrook is Saturday afternoon, and that could also be on your Big Time Sports schedule. Look up BigTimeSportsOhio.com for updated tournament schedules and air times. It's River Basketball. Central back out in the 2-3 zone. Give him a little different look coming out of the timeout. Ball poked away. I think it was O'Donnell who poked it, and then Milliman who came up with a loose basketball. 15th turnover of the game for River. Saints now looking to bury the pilots, sink the pilots. Out front it is Michael Teeter. He's come back strong from a nasty broken leg during the summer. And we have a whistle away from the ball. And we're going to have a foul on Jay O'Donnell. He was on the floor. And let's take, get a replay. Wow. He was run over. Yeah. And they called him for the foul. I don't see it again if he moved into that picker. Didn't look like it. Wow. That's four fouls on O'Donnell. It is pilot basketball. Long jump shot by the pilots. Cole Isley, no good. Teeter on the rebound, coast to coast, banks it up, no good. Colombo rebounds, kicks it out to O'Donnell, gives to Teeter in the corner, Heron, yeah! That's why he's the district player of the year right there, Matt. Two huge threes here late in the fourth quarter. And now, the Central Catholic Saints, a 16-point advantage in the corner, Intermule, he hits a big three basket. Intermule has 11 and a quick timeout called by the River Pilots. Well, even after Central opens up a 16-point lead, the Pilots come back and hit a big shot. Yeah, come down, find the open man, move the ball around, found Intermule, open for the three outside the arc. But uh, here's another look at the uh, three-point shot by Heron a moment ago, the second one that he said. But it's been a good last couple of minutes for the Central Catholic Saints. They forced some turnovers, and they converted at the other end. Yeah, they've been very, very strong defensively tonight, and that's helped their offense because they were very sluggish on offense there early in the first half. But they ramped up the defense, got some easy layups off of it, and just played hard, and now they've stretched it to 13 again. Just a minute 44 left in the ball game. The Central Catholic Saints it would appear on the verge of picking up with their 21st victory of the year. Co-champions of the Intervalley Conference. They tied with the Highland Hawks for the league championship split with the Highland during the year. And it's possible they could meet again in the district finals. But Saints have to get by this one. The Hawks have some tough games to play. And a very tough district semifinal would await the Saints against a very good Malvern team. The Central Catholic beat twice this year. And on the drive, another foul. And this one is against Coretti. You see it on the Weaver Barnes replay. Michael Teeter to the charity stripe. Michael, the 5'11 senior. Foul shot good. Is Teeter eight on the night? And Donald back in for Central. Teeter foul shot, a rim climber drops through. Teeter's seven of seven from the free throw line tonight. Seven of his nine points from the line. Intermule on the end line. To Coretti for three. No. Rebound controlled by Milliman, and Milliman is found by Flannery reaching in. And Milliman will uh, go to the foul line for the uh, Central Catholic Saints. 
And Alice, a 61% foul shooter who averages about nine points a ball game. He has 12 tonight, line to right, foul shot is short, rebound River. A minute left in the game. Coretti running the floor. Ender Mueller, jumper spins out, rebound to River. Lucas Isley with a long jumper for three. He has 14 and River takes a quick timeout with 53 seconds to play and the Saints on top by 12. We'll have the uh, Ferris Financial that pays to plan play of the game in our post-game show along with the Manor Restaurant player of the game. Picking the player of the game tonight is going to require a little bit of discussion. Yeah, we get a couple of number of players for uh, Central that, you know, uh, Heron stepped up with a couple of big threes. Uh, Teeter knocked down foul shots. Colombo on the boards is also, I think Milliman's he scored eight or well. ten. Milliman's been strong inside. You know, it's been a total team effort by the Saints here so far tonight. Talking about that district tournament, Highland will be playing, uh, is playing Bellsville tomorrow on Saturday in a sectional final. And on the inbound, Heron is fouled in the backcourt. The other half of this uh, tournament being played at John Glenn High School. Now, there's a real good chance that you can see the one, two, three, and four seeds playing in those opening district games here next week. Coretti coming out for the River Pilots. Reporting to River, number two, Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith, a junior, back on for the Pilots. I think the Pilots have only used six players tonight. Uh, you start a freshman and sophomore guard, that it's telling you that there's well, not a lot of depth in the upper class. But their JV team had a pretty good year. Their freshman team had a pretty good year. That says something. When you get a freshman playing on varsity, the freshman team won 18 and two. 18 and two. Without their best right. person from that class. So, uh, Aaron, you're looking at the present in the Saints with a senior-laden team, and you're looking at the future possibly in River with all the youth. Heron made both foul shots, and then a river turnover at the other end. O'Donnell coming up with a loose ball, and he's fouled by Lucas Isley. Or a held ball call, I guess. 16 turnovers for River here in the game now. 45 seconds left, and the Saints on top by 14. Pulling away late in this contest against a very pesky River pilot team. But as Coach Tyrone Miller says, play 32 minutes and move on. Saints dribbling out the clock. 22 seconds left. Their fans coming to their feet. Appreciating the effort tonight. That will take the Central Catholic to Meadowbrook High School on a Wednesday. A turnover with eight seconds to play. Long three ball is off for the mark. Rebound controlled by Ender Muley. His shot is up no good and it's over. The Central Catholic Saints 52. The River Pilots 38, your final score. And we'll begin our wrap up right after this on a Big Time Sports. Toyota has the deals, and Ferris can help you get there. Hi, this is Pat Ferris from the all-new Ferris Toyota. Right now, you can drive towards spring in your choice of a new Toyota Camry, RAV4, or Prius for just $249 a month, and that includes two years of free maintenance. All of these great vehicles for just $249 a month and no maintenance costs. Bring us your trade and choose a new Camry, RAV4, or Prius for just $249 a month at the all-new Ferris Toyota on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. 
77 Inn and Grill is T County's newest place to stay and play. Relax overnight in the luxurious 77 Inn or kick back with friends in the sports bar with 17 big screens. Having a party? Ask about a private party room. 77 Inn and Grill has fantastic stay, wine, and dine packages. Great for the holidays or a weekend away from home, but close to home. 77 Bar and Grill. Food, fun, sports, and lodging all on Commercial Parkway and Dover. Online at 77inandgrill.com. There are hospitals. There are health systems. But there's nothing quite like this. The Altman system means A-class care. All of the services and care you need together. All of the most expert caregivers together. All of this joins together and together with you to lead our community to improved health. Welcome to the shape of advanced health care. At Altman, healthier together. Woods Tall Timber Resort is a vacation that's close to home. The Seven Acre Lake is the focal point of the resort with camping May through October. Splash away your summer days at the beach and in the fall enjoy brilliant colors from your own private cottage. Whether you enjoy primitive camping or the amenities of home, Woods Tall Timber Resort has it all. Luxurious cottages feature equipped kitchens, a full bathroom and room for eight guests. The resort includes a clubhouse, concession stand, bait shop, shower house and laundromat. And the recreation never ends. Enjoy summer fun on water slides, inflatable trampolines, paddle boats, and electric boats, plus house rentals, fishing, game room, playground, woodpecker par 3 golf, and miniature golf, and of course hiking trails. And now Woods Tall Timber Resort has zip lines. It's the best value around for this exciting way to fly. Rides start at just $15. Small zips and kitty zips are also available. And the Lake House Lodge can accommodate your party, reception, reunion, or event. Check out all of the fun online at woodstalltimberlake.com. The Central Catholic Saints win a sectional championship, beating the River Pilots by 14, 52 to 38. Central improving to 21 and 3 on the year. The River Pilots close out the campaign at 8 and 15. And now with a look at the final numbers in the ball game in our Ferris Chevrolet post game report. Here's Bruce Witter. And here are the stats. Both teams shot the ball very well tonight, Matt. River 16 of 36 from the field. Central 16 of 32 from the free throw line. It was River 5 of 6. Central 16 of 20. Central dominated the boards offensively and defensively with 19. River with 10. And they forced River into 16 turnovers while Central turned the ball over 11 times. Individually, the Central Catholic Saints were led by Mitchell Heron with 19 points. And Mitchell Heron is our Manor Restaurant player of the game. He hit two big threes to break open the game, to finally break open the game in the fourth quarter for Central Catholic. Yeah, huge down there. They found him wide open, one off that off offensive play under the basket that got it out there. And like you said, big, big threes to put this game on ice. And Mitchell Heron had a role to play in our fi uh, Ferris Financial. It pays to plan play of the ball game. As you see, Mitchell Heron came down with a rebound, led the break down the floor, and found Alex Milliman at the other end for a beautiful basket. That is your uh, Ferris Financial. It pays to plan play of the ball game. Uh, the Central Catholic Saints advancing to play in the district semifinals on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock at Meadowbrook High School. Tickets are on sale at Central Catholic High School Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 8 to 3. And we will have that ball game for you on Big Time Sports. Also coming up this week on Big Time Sports, the new Philly girls in the regional semifinals against Solon up in Canton. That's on Tuesday night. For game times, go to BigTimeSportsOhio.com for your latest tournament schedules. The River Pilots played them tough, but the Central Catholic Saints did what they had to do to win the ball game. Yeah, they made foul shots. They forced 
River to turn the ball over. And the biggest thing tonight was their offense came out sluggish, but their defense was very, very good. And consequently, it turned them over into making some uh, easy baskets off breaks like we saw in the uh, Ferris Financial uh, play of the game and turned out to be a big victory for them to move them on to the districts. Again, your final score, Central Catholic 52, River 38. Great job by the big-time sports crew tonight. For Bruce Witter, this is Matt Ritzer wishing you a very pleasant good evening.